Welcome back everyone and welcome to our live class today. So to get the party started comment below let us know where you're watching in from and obviously tell us what the weather is like. The weather's not too bad in Dublin there has been a change lately so hopefully summer is here. So last week I did a live class and I have to say the response and the feedback like we're a little bit oh my god like they really really enjoyed that. I showed how to do a bouquet of flowers, a presentation bouquet of flowers using this armature. Now I know there's lots watching tonight and they probably missed last week's one. Okay, you'll still be able to watch it. It's over on our YouTube channel, but also if you scroll back down to the Facebook page, you will find it. It's an old post. But last week I used one of these and people might say, why would you bother using one? The reason for using this armature was it sh I was showing how you can get away with using a very few flowers but yet you can make a bouquet really, really big. I was also demonstrating using materials from your garden. Now last week, most of the flowers that I used, we got from one of the Irish growers based here in Dublin, Grawco Flowers. But listen, there's flower farmers all over the world, all over Ireland. We actually have a list of them on our website. If you go to our website, www.caseflowerschool.com and look up the flower farmers of Ireland. All their addresses and emails are there. And anybody tuned in from the UK, comment below if you're from the UK. There's absolutely loads of British flower farmers. The support for the flower farmers over in the UK is absolutely out of this world. And again, if you are a flower farmer watching here now, I'm giving you the opportunity, share your link below, share your details, and again, put up a post and tell us what you have for sale at the moment. Let's all try and support each other. Now, talking about support, okay? In the past, when I did a live class, and I'd often say, is there any chance of sharing this video? We would get 100 shares, no bother. Like, you know what I mean? Straight away, while I would be live, it'd get 100 shares. I have to say, lately, is there gone as mean as anything? And to get one or two shares on a video, uh, it's like trying to draw blood out of a stone. And the thing is, it costs you absolutely nothing to click share. It costs you absolutely nothing to tag. So what I'm doing is I'm offering you this free demonstration class and as a little bit of payback, but to do me a favor, I'm not asking you to buy anything. I'm not asking you to pay anything, but I would love, really, really appreciate if you clicked that share button. Again, share it to your local flower arranging club, share it to your arts and crafts, your ladies club, or just share it on your own page. I'd really appreciate. Now, again, I know there's lots of you watching there and you're saying, how did I make this? So what I did last week was I posted a video, a step-by-step -step tutorial in live time. So you'll see from start to scratch, you know, exactly what I did, what I used. I'll talk you right through from the very beginning, right to the very end, how I actually made this frame. And the great thing about them is they are reusable. So I suppose that is being a little bit sustainable. They are reusable. But um, the style of bouquet I'm doing today, you probably would need to use something like this. Now again, Last week, everybody loved the Irish grown flowers, British grown flowers. But this week, um, is your hydrangea starting to come into flower? Is your neighbor's hydrangea in flower? Would you be able to forage a couple of heads off your neighbor's hydrangea? Obviously, asking permission first. The other thing is the Sweet William. Sweet William is in season at the moment. The supermarkets have the Sweet William. Again, your local flower farmer has Sweet William grown. I know Grocco Flowers out in North County, Dublin. She has absolutely loads of it. You'll find her on Instagram. You won't find her on Facebook. But again, if there's anybody watching there and your local flower farmer sells Sweet William, why don't you tag them? Or again, did you see it in Tesco's? Did you see it in Lidl? Did you see it in Aldi? Did you see them in Marks and Spencer's? Let's try and share and let's tell each other about it. So flower wise I'm using Sweet William which is readily available and hydrangeas which by the way you can buy in your local flower shop as well but at the moment they're in everybody's garden and depending on what part of the country you're in you could maybe be getting blue ones or pale pink ones. Obviously in Rialto this is the colour that we grow. Now foliage wise I got some foliage from Deirdre's garden. So I have some of the fascia leaves. You know us, we're mad about the fascia. I've videoed from Deirdre's garden. I've shown you all the fascias. And normally what I do is I wire the back of them. I have this all done. Now again, if you're new here and you've never seen us wiring the fascia, scroll down through the page. I've lots and lots of videos. Or again, pop over to our YouTube channel. All the videos that I post here, 
on our Facebook and our Instagram page. We pop them all over to our, Insta to our YouTube channel. So pop over to YouTube, search Case Flair School. Make sure you subscribe and again, you'll be kept up to date. You'll never miss anything. So I'm using the Fatsia. I'm using a little bit of Soft Ruskus. This is also from Deirdre's Garden and you can buy in Soft Ruskus yourself. And I'm also using Rosemary. The scent of this is just fabulous. So again, just to show you, is the, with the armature, you're able to insert some of the material down through some of the holes, just randomly. You can see I've long and I've short there. There's no, literally, no shape nor make. And I'm not doing like a typical spiral, but because obviously I'm a florist, probably naturally the material is going to spiral without me actually trying to do it. I'm now just going to add in a little bit of the Ruskus. And again, you can see that gives me a lovely flow, do you know what I mean, to our bouquet of flowers. Now the trend at the moment is not to use much foliage, but I absolutely adore foliage. I just find it's fantastic, I do. And I'm not mad about bouquets without foliage, but it is personal choice. But I suppose the great option of the armature that I'm showing you there, I'm covering a lot of it in, is that if you don't want to use foliage, you can allow your armature to show. Now, again, when I was making it, I did say, listen, I'm being very casual about this, and you could kind of be a little bit fussier, but um, they are easy enough to make. They take a little bit of time, and they take a little bit of strength in your hand. So just to show you there, very randomly, an outline of foliage, a little bit of bounce. It's not very formal, it is very wild, and again, you can still see sections of the armature. I might put more in afterwards, now we're onto our flowers. Now, you always know garden hydrangeas towards the commercially grown, because the garden ones are crooked and bent. That was not, that one's fairly straight, you know that way? And you get kind of like every shape in our make. They're a bit like ourselves, you know that way? All shapes and makes and bent and fat and skinny and big heads and little heads and big bums and little bums. Again, like ourselves, the hydrangeas, they're all types. So when you're adding in these flowers, don't think about it, you know what I mean? Just randomly add in the flower, whether it looks out that way, that naturally went that way. If it was up a little bit higher or was down a little bit lower, it doesn't matter. This is a double head one, so this is obviously twins. As I said, a bit like ourselves, just kind of like adding it in. This is a little skinny one, I'll just add that one kind of like out there towards the outside. Here's a nice full one, I'll add it to the outside over the opposite side. Maybe we have kind of a fairly bent one here, we'll stick it up in the center and we'll kind of like see how it goes. It'll go its own way, it's not gonna stay in the center because it's fairly bent. And we have triplets, okay? And again, I'm just gonna add this one in, just around here, we'll come into our little hole there. And we'll add this one over to this side here. One of the triplets is, get in there you go. One of the triplets is being a little bit awkward and we'll just turn that around just to give us a bit of a focal. So just to show you, I'd like something there, but I have more than that in a second, but just to show you how informal and how casual this is. So again, I just need something over this side, so I'm gonna stick this one in over this side just to give us a few more heads. Again, a few little twins there, and we have a real bent crooked one, which I think I'll bring over to the outside here, just around the outside of the bouquet. And we have a little baby one. So every time I look, I'm going to find another one. So again, it's just kind of showing you very casually with the hydrangeas. Now I'm going to add the Sweet William down through what I've done. So the Sweet William comes in lots of different shades. And when we seen it grown in grot cut flowers, I, I, I don't know, I suppose I presumed that all the one shade will be growing in one area, but that isn't. Um, obviously it comes in in mixed seed. Actually she was telling us, that one's bent, she was telling us that at the moment she's planting her sweet William for next year. It actually takes a long time to grow. So it's probably not, not like your um, little packets of seeds. That was another thing she was saying to us, like where she buys it in from Germany. Now this was Grocco flowers, where she buys the seed for the sweet William in from Germany. But she said like in huge, huge big sacks. So it's not like us going to Mr. Middleton and buying our little packets of seeds. Um, oh, there's another bit of Ruskus there. So you can see the way I'm just casually adding in, you know, the Sweet William, kind of like here and there, through our bouquet. Some of it is around the outside, but that's the great thing about the armature, you're able to do that. Some of it is kind of like stuck down through the little holes in the armature. And again, no system, no pattern, it's not formal. It's a very, very casual bouquet. And it's something that anybody can try. You don't need to know how to do the spiral. Now again, if there is people watching there and they're saying, God, they would love to learn how to do the spiral bouquet, over on our website, 
under our professional courses we have what's called standalone courses and this is where you can buy a course just to learn how to make hand tied bouquets or just to learn how to make hat boxes or just to learn how to make flower crowns so again there's loads of them arches moon gates teardrop bouquets funeral sprays so if there's something particular that you just want to learn how to make but from a professional point of view rather than a casual kind of hobby point of view pop onto the standalone courses go down to through them and again there's normally a free little introduction video that you can watch you know what I mean just to kind of get an idea what's about if you do have any questions drop us an email if you want to have a chat to us you know what I mean about the particular courses absolutely no problem now with the standalone courses we don't actually provide a uh, flowers and material with them they're different to the professional courses but they are that little bit less less expensive you know that way so again if you um i know the hand type bouquet course i do for anybody in ireland i do have a little starter kit that includes like the porto boxes the cellophane the brown paper the organza the hand tied string it's all included so again if you live in ireland and you are purchasing the standalone hand tied bouquet course let me know and i can post a kit out to you it's free Obviously, if you're overseas, sometimes with customs, it works out more expensive. But what if you're not availing of the free kit? Get in touch with Deirdre and ask her about the cheeky uh, discount. Have you got a cheeky discount, Deirdre? I sure might very Deirdre. well have. You can't There's lots of day. people sharing now, Jeanette. Oh, so they're play. listening to you now. <laughs> Brilliant. I really, really appreciate it. Somebody wants it. It's not going to need much I don't really, think so, no. It, you know? Again, somebody wants to know where will they find the step-by-step -step how to make the armature. So you'll find, the, the again, you can't see it now, but the metal armature that I used there at the beginning, you'll find the full tutorial how I made it over on our YouTube channel. And again, it's in live time, so if you work with it, you know that way, you'll be able to work with me, basically, and uh, copy it. Um, you need a little bit of strength in your hands. So if there is anybody watching there that struggles with their hands, it might be a little bit difficult for you. But you listen, that's what the other half is there for. So if he's sitting there watching the football with a pint in his hand, tell him to put that pint down and twist your wires because you need a little bit of a hand twist in the wires. Uh, somebody else is saying every time she cuts the hydrangeas in their garden that they die straight away. And that's because you're not treating them. These have been in hot water, boiling water, okay? So have you not downloaded the free tutorials I have on the conditioning of fresh flowers there's over 80 different varieties of fresh flowers and foliage they're videos so it's not like you're reading a load of crap you're watching the video and you see exactly how i treat and condition the flowers and it's absolutely free it is drop me an email or info. message in the comments yeah, yeah. Put, put in the comments what word uh, conditioning flowers, flowers. Oh, and whatever flowers are conditioning whatever word you can spell put the word flowers are conditioning in the comments and what we do is we go through all the comments later on and we respond to them and i'll give you the link um, for that conditioning program we still also have the free sample videos of the fresh flower arranging so you know our module one is not starting till uh, not another couple of months it isn't but again if anybody is still a little bit nervous like wondering they're on the back boiler will they sign up for the professional program would they be able for it what about the techie part what about the online instructions will be able to follow it so what we have coming up will be um a sample course but we also have a free first of all i talk about we have a free sample course so you can set, put in the word what sample yeah put sample in the comments and what i do is i give you the link to the free uh, sample online course i think there's about three different classes in it and it'll just give you an idea how our professional courses work and then if you decide we do have a taster course coming up very soon which covers a little bit of bridal a little bit of flower arranging a little bit of funeral work it'll have the bloom room it'll have the one-to-one -one whatsapp and again it'll just give you an idea what it's like or for the person that's there and saying I don't really know what I want to do. I'd like a bit of wedding work, but I'd like funeral work, but I'd like flower arranging as well. Or I or don't like, want to do it online. Or Yeah, or I'd like to learn how to make bouquets of flowers. It's a taster course. It's only a new one that we've just launched, it mm -hmm. is. And again, you'll be able to avail of that. Handiest thing, drop us an email, any questions, and we can send you out all the information. How's the shares going? Yeah, they're still shares. sharing. So, And if you're watching on the replay, let us know that you're watching on the replay. Write replay into the comments. <laughs> And, um, and maybe it might give us a cheeky little share as well. So all you need to do then is tie up your bouquet with your hand tied string. It's which over you there. Oh, there it is there. With your hand tied string, place it in water. And there is, as I said, your bouquet of flowers to present to somebody, which has cost you, in my case, very, very little. Because the only thing I had to buy was the Sweet William. Hydrangea was out of the garden. 
Patsy was out of the garden, Ruskus was out of the garden, Rosemary was out of the garden. What else? And I made the frame, the metal frame, I made that myself. Yep. So, any questions, put them in the comments. Otherwise, listen, thanks a million for watching. And we'll Hope see you, you next week. It. See you next week. Same time, same place.